Good afternoon everyone. You'll see here the sped up screen capture of a digital painting I've made as a direct response to the walk statement. Addressing the Anthropocene is not something to leave in the hands of those in charge. I paint with a plastic nibbed pen on a chalky receptive surface tablet using variations in brush size and opacity to apply marks. I'm building an image that mimics the scientific depictions of animals. I was interested in exploring unorthodox perspectives and approaches to art making and ways of life and was inspired by our hybrid relationship to animals, particularly the idea of the pet. The painting you can see unfolding now is an interpretation of my pet, my friend, an Alexandrian parakeet named Jekyll. But what is a pet? The Oxford Dictionary has this definition. There are underlying themes of domination and control in our relationship to pets. The pet is morphed to our liking. It is bred to be smaller and more docile, even just to satisfy our aesthetic desires. And in this I feel a great sense of hypocrisy while searching for solutions. How does this relate to taking control of dealing with the Anthropocene? Well, I wanted to look at how amateur cooperative contributions to science could work, a merger of disciplines. Using Jekyll as a kind of catalyst, I contacted a foundation in America called the Alex Foundation. They research cognitive abilities of African grey parrots, widely considered the smartest non-human animal on the planet. I offered to disclose observations of Jekyll in regards to cognitive function and speech to see if my amateur data held any value. These were little notes on Jekyll's vocabulary, including context-based speech. Here are some of the words and phrases he says. Hello, It's okay. You want shower? Kiss. I also offered to create two-dimensional artworks, paintings, drawings or prints of a specific species of parrots or animals. They would be in contemporary context, perhaps with a favourite toy, or doing something characteristic of their species in an urban setting. A digital painting that exists as electronic energy but it can be summoned and expressed as an addition print if there is some interest. And I offered to donate any money I make from sales directly to the Alex Foundation for their research which includes applications in a social context and even computing. In terms of sourcing animals from an urban zone, I've taken a few photos of animals around my house. Here are some possible compositions. Perhaps a New Holland honey eater on clothesline. Hibiscus bug on handrail. Titan stick insect on fly screen. Or skink and sulo bin. Who knows if this will be successful? Probably not. But I'm using my means and resources as effectively as I can. And that is on screen. A direct response to Walk's statement. Perhaps I can raise some money create a discourse between the key disciplines of science and art. How can I deal with the Anthropocene? The method I've chosen is small scale, probably a product of hopelessness that we often feel in the powerfully gluttonous face of globalisation. 
The digital painting you're witnessing is a parody of John J. Audubon's Birds of America, a suite of over 400 watercolours detailing a proportion of America's avian life at the time. I paint in that realist method, but include non-natural components, tiles and stainless steel, suction capped plumber's pipe and Ikea mirror. In the nomenclature that I add at the end, I use Jekyll's name to identify him as he has some agency, a typically human character, in contrast to his structured urban domain. The idea of humans and animals influencing their shared genetic makeup and psychology was something that I have explored. I think we need some kind of symbiosis with the natural world, whether to forge new understandings or to find new ways to feed, house, entertain and provide energy for ourselves. The encouragement to see multiple perspectives and disciplines in contemporary art is important in finding ways that challenge established capitalist mechanisms. By following straight scientific protocol, we can be missing spiritual characteristics or modes of energy not yet understood by science. And in turn, by following straight creative output, we can be missing the practicality of science. My way of commandeering this, in this instant, is through this painting. It is a litmus test for me to see if I can get a response or affect people. And from there I move forward, in directions not always conventionally measurable, to find ways to subvert traditional and typical rule structures. In this way, it is a kind of future. It is not sure or proven, but that makes it, in a way, exciting. And here is my finished painting. We would like to say thank you for watching. Thank you.